Well, I finally got this home light big red chainsaw running. And I found that old, old wire ignition coil plug boot and put it on the coil. And it finally works just fine. I already warmed it up. I did went to, I did go over to my dad's house and see the Kubota B5200 tractor. But, uh, it runs great, and uh, the mowing deck will not raise up because there's a piece on there that's broken that lifts, lifts up by the PTL at the rear, which it does work, the steering work, and the, it drives great, and uh, I like it. Uh, hopefully, it'll be all done one of these days. I can have it here, and uh I'll show you if this saw fired up now, since it's running good. But it works perfectly. For now, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, yeah, the auto set too low. Put it back where I had it. That's all it was. That's all it was. It's just a broken fuel line that was spraying in from the bottom of a carb. I'll show you the carburetor. I did put a new fuel line in it. I had to replace the busted one. So I did put a new one on there. It stayed at the bottom of the tank and leave the jets alone and leave the idle alone. And it's not leaking over the air filter box. And I'm pretty happy with it. Well, since the saw lives again, now I can definitely use it. Since this is a light red, but it does blame in with the two reds and the third red and the fourth one right here. But, I'm done. I'm already 24 years old. And the new chainsaw is coming on next week on August 28th on Wednesday. Anyways... I'll have a video of this thing cutting firewood again. Anyways, I finally back up. I finally back into business running the home light big red. Anyways, I'll catch y'all next video of of it being used. See you later.